Now, we are going to talk about the important things to watch out for in making speech presentations. Number one, your body language and your dress or suit says a lot about your personality before you even start your speech presentation. Your appearance and your posture should be relaxed and dignified, neither sloppy nor stiff. Number two, eye contact with a cheerful voice to greet your audience sets the mood in your entire presentation. Good morning. You can also begin your presentation by expressing gratitude to the people or organization who invited you to make a speech in that particular event. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, for the honor to address this body once more. And thanks to the distinguished climate leaders assembled here today who are ready to take action. Number three. You are expected to look friendly, sincere, and confident. So, do not do this. I'm Emily Johnson. Number four. Volume, pace, and intonation. This really never happened, so let me... Um... So we went, okay, sorry. So we wanted to really give them credit. One, if you speak too softly or if your voice drops as you speak, your audience cannot hear you well. So, they miss some or even the important parts of your presentation. Uh, reiteration of Landauer's principle, which you should know is any logical Irreversible manipulation of information such as the erasure of a bit or merging of two computational paths must be accompanied by corresponding entropy increase in non-information varying degrees of freedom. No? Okay. Two, if your pace is too fast, with long sentences or highly technical words, you are not giving your audience the time to fully understand what you are trying to say. Three, Intonation. Variety in the tone of your voice also keeps the interest of the audience. A monotone voice puts the audience to sleep or takes their interest somewhere else. Number five. It is never a good idea to start your sentences nor your speech presentations with the conjunction, so. So, uh, the Excel Center. My presentation is uh, on the Excel Center. Um. Could remove the so and the sentence, the meaning, and the message is unchanged. So makes you sound unsure, uncomfortable, and uninterested. It's annoying. And avoid vocal noise like ah, hey, hey, to, are. Number six. Instead of the usual greetings. Here are some effective speech opening statements that will make your audience want to listen to you. President Abraham Lincoln was also thinking of bold action 150 years ago when he said, the dogmas of the quiet past are inadequate to the stormy present as our case is new, so we must think anew and act anew. We must disenthrall ourselves and then we shall save our country. Speeches are not meant to be very stiff and serious. So, if you think that there are some people in the audience who recognize you, and a few others who don't, you can give them a quick hint about yourself to lighten up the mood. I'm Tom Blushia, and you might know me as Jack and Hagar, the faceless man from Game of Thrones. Vala Mughulis. Number seven. Although a speech presentation does not have to be too serious, it must not seem like a joke either. Uh, they uh, do consultation. Hey, they have teams. Work on the content of your speech to make it worth listening to. Renewable energy, fossil fuels, and putting a price on carbon pollution are beginning to turn the tide. This transition is not only the right thing for our world, but it also makes clear economic sense and is possible within our lifetime. Number eight. Pauses can be a very useful tool during your presentation. Here are ways to use pauses. 
Since I'm one of the old guys, I won't tell you what to do with this power that rests in your hands. One. Pause for signposting. But I'll leave you with three quick pieces of advice. First, don't be afraid. Two. Pause to reinforce a point. America's gone through tough times before. Slavery, civil war, famine, disease, the Great Depression, and 9-11. And each time, we came out stronger. Usually because a new generation, young people like you, learned from past mistakes and figured out how to make things better. Not at all. And I want you to know that also, I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit for political purposes, my opponent's youth and inexperience. Three. Pause to give a rest. Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Four. Pause to build suspense. Instead, it looks like this. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Number nine. Certain movements communicate nervousness or lack of interest. Any constantly repeated action can become a distraction. If you have to flip through pages of printed materials, do so in a manner that does not cause unnecessary distraction. They have uh, public speaking. Make every conscious effort to keep the attention of your audience on your speech presentation. We can congratulate each other today. Constantly running your fingers through your hair is an example. Avoid scratching any body part or swaying from side to side, letting your hands move aimlessly and sounding bored with whatever topic you are discussing. Um, like Talk to your audience, not to yourself. Especially in Western cultures, lack of eye contact can signal insincerity and lack of confidence or lack of interest. An optimal electronic switching device is shown by the following equations for... Do not wave your pointer carelessly as it causes distraction. Biologically inspired and... Can you all see that? All right. If you stand in the way of the projector's light beam, you are covering part of your visuals. And you should not turn your back on your audience either. Number 10. Remember that your audience devoted their time to listen to you. So, do not just scramble away without thanking them for having stayed through the end of your speech. Search on marketing industry. Make sure you show your appreciation to your audience by closing your speech presentation properly and thanking them for their time. I'm delighted to introduce this report on their progress and I'm eager to hear what's next. Thank you so much. Thank you.